Hello family, today we're back again to make another dish for Thanksgiving. We're kind of getting ahead to beat the holidays. And today we're going to be cooking a simple corn casserole. And it's sort of like a all easy, everything goes in, mix it up, and then it cooks on 350 for 45 minutes. And it will be scrumptious. Okay, so first I've got a Jiffy corn muffin mix, one of those, and then I've got a 14.75 ounces of cream style corn. I've got the same thing, 14.25 of whole kernel corn, drained, so it's just the kernels, and then I've got a one stick of butter, melted. And then I've got two eggs that I've whipped a little bit, likely. And last, we're going to get a cup of sour cream. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go now. We're going to mix it up. First, we're going to go with the creamy corn. This is some of these recipes, uh, things to cook that you don't have to spend the whole day in the kitchen. Amen. The quicker you can get it done and have something good, the better it is. Okay, now here goes the drained cold kernel corn. It's going in. Be sure to drain it. And then I've got a whole stick of butter melted. I wish I had me a big old turkey dinner right now. <laughs> turkey and dressing. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I've got two eggs. I've lightly beaten a little bit. They're going in it. Mm. I may have to cook me up some turkey and dressing. Then I've got a cup of sour cream that goes in last. Okay, and now all this, now I've not put no salt or no pepper, you can, if you want to put some in yours, that's fine. Yeah, I'm sure that cream corn in it, corn's probably got a little salt in it already. Yeah, I'm not too big on all this excess salt. Salt's good, but too much of a good thing can kill you. <laughs> Remember that. That's an old folks' tale. I'm going to whip this together. And this is all it is. Well, that's simple enough. Make something good and yummy. Yes. Okay, we've got it all blended now. So now it's going in a, I'm going to say a, I've got an 8 by 10 pan here. So, and it's not going to rise up and go over. Where you put it, that's what's going to cook. So, here we go. You don't have to grease it. Mama, tell us your oven temperature and how long one more time. The oven temperature is on 350 and we're going to cook it for 45 minutes. I 
I need to get a spatula right quick and there's still a good bit in there. Y'all, if you notice, Mama gets it all out of the bowl. There's nothing left in there when she gets done. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm going to scrape it all out. That's a lot of food coming out of there. Now off the dog. Now it's going off to the oven. We're going to spread it down. Just kind of even it out. They used to tell us when I was little, twist the pan. That'll level it out. So all you young ladies that's learning to cook, remember that. Shake the little pan and it'll all be even. Now off to the oven for 45 minutes on a preheated 350 degree oven. Okay, everybody. We're back now. The corn casserole is done. So it, guess what? Good old taste time. <laughs> look how good that looks. Taste time. So it's nice and hot. So we're going to try it. Corn casserole. <laughs> well, it sure does smell good. This will be one of them meals you'll eat at all. There won't be nothing left in this. That's right. This stuff's so good, y'all. Perfect for Thanksgiving and upcoming Christmas, like Mama said. Yeah. Now, it's pretty. Whew. It's, it's hot, too. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> I have second thoughts about it. Bobby. Bobbing that in my mouth. Hmm. It sort of looks like cornbread, but it ain't. It's corn casserole. You may have to put you some salt and pepper, though. I don't add all that salt and stuff. <laughs> Just for what it's needed. Yep. This is a winner. A winner. It's got the sweetness of the corn. Um, you don't need all that salt. Maybe a little black pepper sprinkled on it. And it's really good. It's got a nice texture to it. Of course, the corn is already sweet. And the little muffin mix, everything that went in it was so simple. And it wouldn't take no time to whip this up. For a side dish, for a picnic, a church going, a homecoming dish, anything. Because it's really good. And you could go a step further. You could sprinkle you some cheese on top of it. The last few minutes of it cooking and let that cheese melt down. And mm, it would be scrumptious. <laughs> More calories, but scrumptious. <laughs> This is a winner. I'll say goodbye for today. And I hope you try these. And I hope you like them. Because they truly are good. And if I say they're good, you know they're good. Or I wouldn't be eating. <laughs> <laughs> so bye, everybody. God bless all of you. Be careful out there. Uh, just abide by the rules. And you should be safe. Because you're in the hands of the Lord. Nothing will come near you because of Him. It's got to go through Him to get to you. So thank God every day He's got us in His hands. The Bible says we are the apple of His eye. So He's watching over every little apple He's got out there. So I love you. I've had fun being with you today. 
God bless all of you until we meet again. Bye.